क्लास नाइन सब्जेक्ट साइंस केमिस्ट्री चैप्टर टू इज मैटर अराउंड अस प्योर टॉपिक्स टू बी लर्न इन दिस वीडियो व्हाट इज अ सस्पेंशन एंड व्हाट इज अ कोलॉडल सोल्यूशन व्हाट इज अ सस्पेंशन अ सस्पेंशन इज अ हेटरोजेनियस मिक्सचर इन विच द सल्यूट पार्टिकल्स डू नॉट डिसोल्व बट रिमेन सस्पेंडेड थ्रू आउट द बल्क ऑफ द मीडियम Particles of a suspension are visible to the naked eye. Examples: chalk powder, wheat flour in water, etc. Properties of a suspension. Suspension is a heterogeneous mixture. The particles of a suspension can be seen by the naked eye. The particles of a suspension scatter a beam of light passing through it and make its path visible. The solute particles settle down when a suspension is left undisturbed that is a suspension is unstable they can be separated from the mixture by the process of filtration when the particles settle down the suspension breaks and it does not scatter light any more what is a colloidal solution the particles of a colloid are uniformly spread throughout the solution due to the relatively smaller size of particles as compared to that of a suspension the mixture appears to be homogeneous but actually a colloidal solution is a heterogeneous mixture for example milk because of the small size of colloidal particles we cannot see them with naked eyes but these particles can easily scatter a beam of visible light Tyndall effect the scattering of a beam of light is called the Tyndall effect after the name of the scientist who discovered this effect Tyndall effect can also be observed when a fine beam of light enters a room through a small hole This happens due to the scattering of light by the particles of dust and smoke in the air Figure A solution of copper sulfate does not show Tyndall effect and b mixture of water and milk shows tindal effect tindal effect can be observed when sunlight passes through the canopy of a dense forest in the forest mist contains tiny droplets of water which act as particles of colloid dispersed in air properties of a colloid a colloid is a heterogeneous mixture The size of particles of a colloid is too small to be individually seen with naked eyes. Colloids are big enough to scatter a beam of light passing through it and make its path visible. They do not settle down when left undisturbed that is a colloid is quite stable. They cannot be separated from the mixture by the process of filtration. but a special technique of separation known as centrifugation can be used to separate the colloidal particles the colloidal solution has two phases dispersed phase and dispersion medium the solute like component or the dispersed particles in a colloid form the dispersed phase the component in which the dispersed phase is suspended is known as the dispersing medium A few common examples are given in table. From this table you can see that they are very common everyday life. Common examples of colloids. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel.